Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Sinosa V2. Before we get into my thoughts about this keyboard, let me just give you an overview of what you'll be getting from the Razer Sinosa V2. At a glance, the Razer Sinosa V2 looks very unassuming. If you don't turn on the backlighting, it blends into any work setup without being too obtrusive. It is a sleek matte black full-size keyboard and the main difference in this keyboard from any other keyboard Razer offers is that this is actually a membrane keyboard, fully membrane. It isn't a mechanical keyboard, but it is the first membrane keyboard with perky RGB. So if you like your RGB and you want a membrane keyboard, this is currently the only membrane keyboard to offer that right now. Each key is individually backlit and you can customize it throughout the Razer Chroma RGB software, which some may find confusing, but I've used it quite a bit because, well, I've used quite a few Razer keyboards and I am used to it. When you get the hang of it, the possibilities become endless in terms of customizability. Or if you don't want to think too much, they do have a list of integrated games such as Overwatch, Fortnite, Apex Legends, where they've already customized the profile. So it makes it a lot simpler for you. So you just click in and you get this customized profile set up easily. The Razer Sinosa is literally a membrane keyboard, but with all the software features of their top-end gaming keyboards, such as Razer Hypershift, where you can turn any of the keys into a macro key. You also have custom profiles and different key bindings to play around with. For the hardware side, from the back, there are two adjustable feet and also cable routing options from the middle or to the sides. And on the front, like I said, it is really unassuming. The only Razer logo is so subtle in black that you have to look really closely to see it. And this logo is located on the front with the slight overhang to rest your wrist. But to me, it doesn't provide much support and I would definitely suggest going for their wrist rest, which really fits perfectly and is really comfortable. For controls, this is my favorite part of any keyboard, dedicated media controls. You have a back, play or pause, forward, mute, and volume control buttons so you can control your media with just the touch of your fingers. The Razer Sinosa is also spill resistant, so if you do accidentally spill water or whatever you're drinking onto it, you can just shake the water out, let it dry, and it will still work perfectly. So that was the sound level of the keyboard test and as you can tell, it's pretty much silent because it's a membrane keyboard and that brings me to my thoughts. I do know quite a few people who use membrane keyboards due to their work providing them such a keyboard or they are just so used to using like laptop keyboards that are generally membrane keyboards so it just feels great to them and I definitely understand the appeal. For a beginner gamer starting out, this would also be a good option because say you're getting this for a younger teen, they just want something that lights up with RGB and because it's durable, you won't worry about them accidentally destroying the keyboard by spilling their drinks onto it or whatever else. If you're using it for work, it is quite enough that it won't annoy your co-workers and because there is a 1000 hertz ultra polling pad with N-key rollover, you generally won't make mistakes when typing and I actually didn't experience any instances of keys getting stuck which can be common at times on other membrane keyboards. Currently, the pricing of the Razer Sinosa V2 is at 99 SGD, so it is under 100 and I would definitely recommend it if you like using membrane keyboards or if you're a gamer that's just starting out and don't want to pay too much and not going into the world of mechanical keyboards yet. For casual gaming, the Razer Sinosa is definitely good enough. But if you're going to be going competitive, I would probably recommend a mechanical keyboard. While Razer is also really famous for that, I do like the fact that they've brought out this cheaper option for the Razer Sinosa V2 that doesn't skimp on anything. Just to recap, there are individually customizable backlit gaming keys, dedicated media keys, durable split resistant design, chroma and synapse enabled, fully programmable keys, and key rollover, and 1000Hz ultra polling. Seriously, there are so many features built into this one membrane keyboard, and yes, it's just almost perfect for a membrane keyboard. Okay, that's been it for the Razer Sinosa V2. 
review. I hope you found it useful. So remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.